Hi there, Laura here, the founder of Get Organized HQ, and I want to ask you a question. Are you a morning person and do you have a morning routine? So I'm not a morning person. Like seriously, ask, ask anyone who has seen me in the morning. I am not. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. Maybe you have too on people's morning routines, my 5 a.m. morning routine, my super productive morning routine, how I set my day up for success, all these things. And I've read lots of books that talk about it. And for years, I just felt frustrated because I would set up these routines thinking like, this is what I need to do to be productive. And then I wouldn't follow through on them very well because they were not well suited to me at all. And then I would just be frustrated or I would follow through, but it wouldn't go as well because I actually wasn't doing the things that made sense for me. And I think I've finally come up with a routine that is truly working for me and that I feel productive. So let me just first start by saying what I thought my morning routine was supposed to be. So I thought I was supposed to go to bed at like, you know, 9 a.m. every single day sleep well, which doesn't always happen. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Some people just don't always sleep as well, especially as I get older. And then I thought I was supposed to set my alarm for 5 a.m. and get up and then get those hardest things done. So I thought I was supposed to start with a workout, like let's get some fresh air, let's get a good workout in. And then I thought I was supposed to shower and get ready and put on my makeup, make my bed, tidy up the kitchen, all those things. And so this was kind of like the workout routine that I had in my head. I even wrote it down a couple times because you know, that's what all they, they tell you to do, right? So like I would write it down 5 a.m. Wake up 5 15 a.m. Get on the spin bike, you know, all these things. And it didn't help me very much to follow through. And even when I did, I mean, when I would try to work out first thing in the morning, it was torture. Like it was miserable. Almost every second I felt like I just wanted to stop. Can I just go lay down? I really hated it. I couldn't get as good of a workout in. I didn't enjoy it. It just did not go well. But if I work out, say, 10 a.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 95% of the time, by two or three minutes in, I'm enjoying it. I'm into it. It's going well. So I realized it just, it just isn't meant to be for me. The other thing that I had to realize about myself is that I do not prefer human interaction the first hour of my morning. I mean, it's just the truth. Like I just am not someone who is going to be, you know, having conversations and talking to people and, and anything that I did that was active because once I finally owned that I wasn't going to work out, like I'm just going to work out at a later time of the day and that's fine. I thought I should get up and immediately get ready, like get a shower, get my makeup on, get ready for the day, which, which sounds great. The problem is, if I do that, a physical activity like that within the first few minutes of waking up, the shower is going to take me 30 minutes. Like it's insane. I'm in such slow motion. I don't even know it. And that's really inefficient because if I do the same thing two hours after I get up, I get it done in 15 minutes. So I wasn't loving that either. So here's what I do now. I get up, first of all, without an alarm. Just whenever my body wakes up, I get up. So, because what is the point? Like, how are we gonna be more productive if we aren't well rested? And I have enough you know, issues going on that I don't need to add being unnecessarily tired on top of it. I don't need the stress when I'm trying to sleep and having trouble of being like, my alarm's gonna go up at 5 a.m. I better sleep now. So I just release that burden. I wake up whenever I wake up. Um, unless there's like, you know, a special something going on that I really need to be somewhere. That's obviously different. Like if I had to go to the airport, I would set an alarm. Uh, but other than that, I'm just going to wake up. Uh, typically these days, um, since I, I focus on going to bed, you know, um, we're usually in bed by eight or eight 30 and then I have a little bit of wind down time and I'm like going to sleep by nine or 10. And so I'll naturally wake up around six, usually maybe six 30, occasionally seven, occasionally five 30 and I'll get up and I go straight downstairs to my home office and I get to work. And for some reason, the part of my brain that doesn't involve interacting with people and that is not doing something physical works just as well first thing in the morning as it does later. So I'm able to be efficient and get the same amount done. And I love that those quiet moments before the family wakes up to really get some work done. And that's what I can actually do. That's what my body will do efficiently at that time of day, nothing else will my body do efficiently, but that it will. And I do have a similar routine. I have a little 
morning routine card, I don't know if you call it card, but task in Asana. That's my project management system for my business. And it says morning routine. And then it's got the little things I do in the morning routine that I can check off one by one. So I'm feeling really productive when I do this. I start with my favorite activities, the ones that take just the right amount of brain power, not too much really hard strategic thinking, but you're, you feel like you're doing something and they're very calm. They're very repetitive and I enjoy that. So number one is always gathering my stats. So this takes me about five minutes um, to plug in stats of sales from the day before. And as a bonus, it keeps me in touch with it. I'm looking at it almost every day and it's, it's easy because I know exactly what to do. I go here, I plug this number into the spreadsheet. I go over here, I plug this number in. Voila, it takes five minutes, I'm done. Second thing is I check our budget in YNAB. That's an app that we use for our budget. And every time we spend something on our credit card, debit card, something like that, it shows up in there as a category, as, as a transaction. And then we then need to categorize it. So I need to say, well, was this groceries? Was this house payment? Whatever. And so I'll go in there and I'll categorize those. This takes probably 60 ish seconds. Like, it is so fast because I do it almost every single day. I don't always do it on the weekends, but almost every weekday I'm doing it. And here's the bonus because I'm doing it every day. If for some reason I skip a day, if like there's another project I really want to work on in the morning, or I, I end up sleeping in, in the morning and don't really have any project time, uh, any time before, like I have to do something, then it's no biggie because I've done it every day. And this just keeps me in touch with it. It means that it's not, not hard. And so that's the next thing that I do. Uh, the next thing I do is that I check Asana. That's our team project management tool. So anything that's come into my inbox, I will check. Most of them I just check off every once in a while that somebody's got a question that I answer. And I also, that's what tells me the work tasks that I have to do for that day. So I take a look at that. And if there's anything that didn't get done the day before, I move it over. I don't like to leave things hanging out and overdue because then nothing's a priority. Like there's just all this overdue stuff and you don't know what's actually important. So I set it up and I move the task wherever I need to. And I also check my calendar, uh, my Google calendar. That's where I have any meetings or things I need to be at because I don't want to forget that like I have a meeting at a certain time where I'm supposed to be at the doctor. So I go ahead and give that a quick glance to make sure I know where I'm supposed to be that morning. After that, I will check Slack. That is our team management tool or not management team collaboration tool. That's where we talk to each other. It's basically like text message threads. And I'll check in there and see if any of my team members have asked questions that I need to answer, something like that. And a lot of times they do because I'll, I'll stop working, you know, the day before earlier than they do. And so I will answer those questions at this time. By this point, a lot of them are just things I need to acknowledge, really quick answer that I just need to type in like yes or no, or here's that link or something. If the question is a little bit more in depth and requires a voice response or a Loom video response, by now I've been up for about 15 minutes and I can probably <laughs> manage to talk to people a little bit so I can still answer that. And that's what I do for my routine. And again, I check each one of those off. Oh, and the last one that I do on there is I like to pray about my work day. Um, now I used to feel like as part of the productive morning routine that I needed to do this whole big devotional time. So you're supposed to sit down with a cup of coffee. Okay, I don't even like coffee, like I don't drink coffee. But it felt like, you know, you need to have a mug and you need to be sitting down with this like devotional and like spending 20 or 30 minutes. I, I don't actually prefer to do that in the morning. And then I thought you had to have this like long prayer. And I decided that that's not the time that works best for me. So instead I just say a very short prayer over my work day, you know, um, whatever's coming up that's on my mind. And that's what I do. And that kind of wraps up the official morning routine. And most days I still have more time. Like I'm, I still don't feel ready to go, you know, up and get ready. So that's when I'll just dive into whatever the next project is. And one of the things that I do for myself here is a lot of times I give myself some pretty good flexibility here. So I ask myself, what project am I most excited to work on right now? And that's the time that I do that. Now, later on in the workday, I don't have that privilege. Like, I have to do what I've scheduled to do. Like if I need to get this, you know, a certain thing done, well, it has to be done. So I don't have that freedom. But in the morning is when I give myself that freedom to work on whatever it is that is most interesting to me. And I'm most productive at that thing because it's a thing that's on my mind. It's a thing that I've been mulling over. It's a thing that I'm excited about. And so I'll usually let myself do one of those. And a lot of those are fairly deep work projects. Like they require thinking, um, I don't have any, I don't schedule any kind of filming or video or like, I don't look, <laughs> I look ridiculous. Like I've just rolled out of bed. Okay. So I don't have any of those kinds of projects then. So it's a really calm time. And then 
I work until I start to feel like I need a break. So sometimes it's 30 minutes, sometimes it's more like an hour. If I get up really early, it's an hour and a half or two. And then once I'm at a break, I'm like, okay, now I need a break. The first break that I take is to get myself ready. So I'm still getting myself ready relatively early in the morning. Usually this is between eight and nine. So that's when I'll take my shower. It only takes me a few minutes, dry my hair if I need to, put on makeup if it's a filming day and you know, put on real clothes. I'm a big fan of, um, putting on like clothes that I would be happy to be seen in um, and, you know, get, get ready for my day. And right after that, by this time I've been up for a little while, it's breakfast time. So I'll take the time to cook myself a healthy breakfast, eat that, and then I get back to work. Um, some of you may be wondering, what about your kiddos? I have elementary age school kids and in our family, um, my husband takes care of their morning routine and getting them to school. So um, I take care of picking them up from school and, and the thing, you know, like the afternoon routine right after that but the morning routine is his and that has worked out incredibly well for me because I'm not the best in the morning. <laughs> so um, they're not gonna get the best of me. No one is at that hour of the morning. My husband is much more of a morning person. He can just get out of bed, drink his cup of coffee and have a nice conversation. So that works out fantastic for us and I'm able to get that focus work in um, early in the morning so I feel like I have accomplished something. And so that's how it works for me. So I really hope that helps you if you're struggling with a morning routine to give you permission to make it the routine that works for you and not worry about what everybody else is doing. Sure, watch those, get inspiration from those, maybe ideas, but put together the one that works for you. There is no right or wrong way. If you like this video, you'll love the nine things most productive people do on Sunday. That is a Sunday routine I have to set my week up for success. So go ahead and check that out next.